Hi, I'm Debbie Cronister, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And tonight I'm here to show you another version of this really cute card, but to show you how I made this card. So it is a pocket card, what I would call a pocket card. And this inside pops up, and you could stamp a greeting there, or leave it plain and write your note in there. So tonight I'm going to use the sweet ice cream from the January through June mini catalog and um, let's get started. So I chose the DSP from that kit and I'm gonna just do the sprinkles. And this, um, let's see, let's start with the basics. Let's get our card base first. Okay, so this is our card base and it is eight and a half by 11 is what we're gonna start with. And then I'm going to cut it at five and a half, just like you would a normal card base, if you're in the United States, that is. And four, I'm going to score at four and a quarter on both of these, which is our standard size card base. And on this one also at four and a quarter. Okay, and then I am going to cut this one. I'm gonna cut both of them. And I'm gonna cut from the bottom corner here to the, the fold line. So I'm just gonna put this in my cutter with the point on the fold, on the, the cutting groove there and just cut all the way up. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. The best part about this card is if you cut these the same, it won't make any difference. You can refold it if you have cut them the wrong way. So I'm um, going to do the same thing on this one. And this one I'm going to refold so that it's going the opposite direction. So now I have these two coming together like that. Okay. I am going to go ahead and cut my the rest do the rest of my cutting. So this um, piece of real red is cut at five and a quarter by four, and I'm going to cut that diagonally also. And. I have a piece of designer series paper here that's cut at five by three and three quarters. You notice each one is just a quarter of an inch smaller. And this one, you can do this two ways. One, you can cut it, you can cut two of these and cut them, or I'll show you another way because part of it's not gonna show. So I'll show you that way. And I think we're done with our cutting. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to glue these two pieces together. So I have a little curl right there, so make sure we get some glue there. And just make sure I get a good healthy amount of glue on there so it stays. And I'm just going to lay that inside my card here, butting it up against the side, making everything even as possible. But I want to be able this one. I need to be this to be able to fold over. <laughs> I will get that out. <laughs> okay. I don't like this little way it's curled towards me. So if I take my bone folder and just press it like that, that flattens out that curl you get when you use the cutter sometimes. Okay. Now for the inside here, I am going to take some tearing tape and I'm going to put along the inside of both of these edges. And I'm gonna trim that off with my scissors. And it would have been better to have a pair of paper snips. They're a little smaller and they work a little bit better. Right here. I can get my hand in there and cut it at the right angle. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this end. 
First, I'm going to cut that off a little bit there and straighten it. And just come out to this edge also. Okay, now I'm going to turn my, my card over to the back side. You can see I've been working with other stamp sets. I forgot to change my paper. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over. This is going to get glued in here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now, if you want your paper to be a different size, these panels, you know, you just cut them down a little bit more before you cut it. So instead of it being five and a quarter by four, you could cut it down a little more than that if you wanted to. Okay, and then this one, this one works because um, you can flip the paper over. So just make sure you put your adhesive on the correct side. But I'll show you the designer series paper doesn't work. But I'll show you a way to make it work. Okay, so we're just going to put this one over here. And centering it. Let's pull that up a little. Okay. Now, remember this is the front that we're working on. It goes like that. Okay. All right, now we have our designer series paper. I'm going to turn that back over. And this one is going to work in here perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach that one. Whoops, I should have not done the other side. Um, I know you have no idea what I'm talking about, huh? By that comment. I'll show you. So if I had not attached this, I would have that to cut my um, pattern from. So you can see I have a long edge here. So I want my long edge here. Now I want my long edge there on that side. Because when I close this, you see what's gonna happen? That's gonna go over that and that's gonna hide whatever is going on down here in this corner. So that piece of paper looks absolutely perfect. So I am going to, because it's totally gonna to be covered, I'm gonna put a mark right down there and I'm just gonna cut it off right in there. I just don't want it to hang over. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit short of that mark. Okay. And even if your design is going a different direction, it doesn't make any difference. If you look at my black ones, my black and white ones, they are, oh, they came out right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why they came out right. They shouldn't have. Um, so there we go. And once again, I, this is the red is curled towards me. So I want to just take my bone folder and just smooth that under. Okay. Now we can peel off this tear and tape, the backing from the tear and tape. And if you get stuck with tear and tape and you can't get it off, remember to go from the side right here. That will make it come off. Don't go from your... Um, so we're going to put this side down first because it has that hole in it. And then I'm going to cover this side right just like that. And nobody even knows there's a hole in there, do they? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and decorate this now. So I've cut from the layering circles dies, the largest scallop and the largest circle, and I'm going to glue those two together. And that's going to go right on there, but I'm not ready to put it on yet. So let's go ahead and stamp my ice cream. Since I'm going to use my ice cream, I went ahead and punched my cones out from the DSP and I'm thinking we'll just kind of stagger them and so let's get some ice cream so when I'm punching my ice cream I need to look at my punch and I see my punch is going this direction so when I'm stamping my ice cream I need to make sure that I'm going that direction 
so that I will be able to punch it. Okay, and then I have to clean this off. I'm just gonna use my silicone mat. Sorry about that shaking. That's pretty, um, pretty red ice cream, huh? I think that's past strawberry. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna turn my paper around the other way and just use this side, but making sure that my ice cream is going this direction once again. We're just gonna do two. Okay, now I'm ready to punch. So when I punch these out, I wanna punch the one on the left first because you see the cone would then punch the, um, the second one here. If I punch the right one first, the cone would be punching through that. So I could have stamped them closer together actually. Oops, let's get this straight. Kind of different doing it under the camera. Okay, then I'll turn this around, and of course, again, I'll punch the one on the bottom here, this left one first. And then my right one. Whoops. I'm getting a lot of shadow, and that's why. <laughs> when you put the cone in your house, the camera there and everything, so I get a lot of shadow in it. Okay, so let's get our ice cream on here, and I'm almost thinking I want another circle. I want a white to make my ice cream cones pop out a little more. So I'm going to punch with my two and a half inch punch. I'm gonna try punching a circle and see how that's gonna work. Um, that's not big enough, let me grab one. It's like every time I turn around, I'm cutting another piece of basic white. This might be too big. Actually, that is just about perfect, isn't it? It is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and attach that. So I'm experimenting, guys. I haven't made this card before, except for, I mean, those, but not this in these colors. Um... And then I'm going to attach my ice cream cones here, my ice creams together. I want my top one. And this one, I'm gonna make the red one on top. And then attach it to my cone. My ice cream is going to be coming over the edge of my cone so I can put my adhesive on the cone. And my other cone is going to be um, the opposite way. So this one I'm going to do the red on the bottom. So I just put a little adhesive on the top of my red and then on my cone once again. Okay, hmm, those are pretty big cones, aren't they? <laughs> I don't think we have room for a greeting. Okay, let's get our um, designer series paper on our um, insert that's gonna go inside. I should have, oops, I just put that on the wrong side, guys. Okay, there we go, it's gone. Let's hope it doesn't stick. We're gonna flip that over, yep, it's sticking. <laughs> Maybe it'll dry and not be sticky, how about that? That would be amazing. 
Okay, so let's do that. And, hmm, I got an idea. Maybe one of my cones needs to go inside. How about that instead? I think that'll work better. And let's put it on this side though. And then one here. Because I still have a greeting to put in there. So I'm going to grab my sprinkles out of my stamp set here. And there's my sprinkles. That's the one I want. Maybe put some sprinkles in here. Um, a little bit of Bermuda Bay. I'm sorry, it's not Bermuda. Yes, it is Bermuda Bay. I was going to correct myself when I wasn't even wrong. And let's put a little bit of the real red. And because I stamped the Bermuda Bay first, I'm okay to go into the real red. The real red is a darker. Okay, don't know if I'm gonna like that, but it's there. Okay, so I'm gonna put my ice cream cone there and my greeting. I have a greeting here, but I'm a little worried about it now because it'll be fine. So I'm going to stamp, and this came from many messages with the Bermuda Bay. And it says, I'm so happy to celebrate these moments with you. I like that one. And you know, in the new catalog, there's a new set coming out to complement this. So keep your eyes on it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna attach this with dimensionals. To pop it up. And I'm gonna attach my ice cream cone with dimensionals, of course. I feel like I need a ribbon. Hmm. I'm just gonna put one there for right now. Let's get back over here. Mm -hmm. I think we're good. Okay, so I'm going to put this on with dimensionals also. And so I want to make sure that I am going at the bottom because I don't want anything to go right there um, or it will catch my inside. So it has to go when I attach this, it has to go. I think I need one more just for balance. There. This will have to be at the top of my V. See how I'm doing the V right there? That's going to be at the very top of the V. Okay. All right, then I lost my ice cream cone in there. And I think I'm going to attach this cone flat onto that because it's going to be pulled in and out. like that. Mm, maybe a little lower so my sprinkles are showing since I've already got glue on that, huh? <laughs> okay, there we go. A little bling to finish it off, I would say. And we're set. So I want some bling on the ice cream for some reason. And this set, this set has um, ice cream corner sprinkles. And I think I just want to put a couple of those on there, maybe on the top of the ice cream. So I'm just going to put a couple little dots. My glue is dirty. Just maybe three. And a triangle, of course. And I'm going to pick out the ones I want with your my take your pick tool. So let's see if I can pick one up. 
This one looks like pool party. That one is pool party. And I don't think that one's gonna show very much, but that's okay. And there's my red. And one other, let's see, maybe, maybe another red. I could have grabbed a yellow in there. You know what, let's make them all red. Let's take him off. Okay, guy. There. Stay. I don't have enough glue on there anymore. I think I pulled all my glue off. Okay, come on. I don't want a big blob. I just want a little bit there. There we go. My pick, <laughs> take your pick tool is pulling it back off. It's too strong. Oh, everything is pulling it back off. Even my hands have glue, too much glue on them now. I need to put it on there and leave it alone. Okay, there we go. So there is another sample of this card. Just a little more, a little fun um, with the ice cream set. So um, if there are any supplies that you need, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. You can reach me through stampwithdeb.com where you can find the link to my um, Stampin' Up! Shop store. If you don't have a catalog, please get in touch with me. I would love to send you one. We have a new catalog coming out May 3rd, and I would love to get you on my um, list to send you a catalog. Um, if there's anything, if you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to contact me through my webpage. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you again.